All right, guys, there seems to be a lot of uh, confusion when it comes to setting the X dimension on a KTM. And uh, just want to clear some of that up and give you a couple tips today. We got a KTM 50 right here, which uses KTM number 4512900 All right, so you're going to put your tool right here and you're going to center it over the piston. You have to be very careful to get it centered and the easiest way especially on this is to go ahead and take your stator cover off and then you can just turn the piston and it's way easier than using the kickstarter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one hand so what you would do is take one hand and hold the tool and you're going to take the other hand You guys see that? So I'm trying to hold the camera as well. But you're going to take one hand and hold the tool. And you're going to take the other hand and spin the piston up to where it comes up. Now it can, it can touch this tool, but it can't lift it. And that's pretty much where we are right now. I can feel it touch, but it doesn't lift the tool off the... Uh, surface of the cylinder so if it does lift this tool you have to go with a thicker base gasket right here to to bring the cylinder up a little bit which is why you get four or five gaskets in a kit for example um, i had this 0.40 in here um, before now they're not marked or anything you just have to measure them with a uh, digital caliper I had this .40 in here before, and it was touching and just barely lifting that uh, gauge off the top. So I went down to this one, which is a, or I went up to this one, which is a .50, spaced it up just enough where it's perfect now. Now what's gonna happen if you don't have that X dimension perfect? Well, or as close as possible. Well, if it, is lifting the tool then when you put the head back on it's going to hit the head and it's going to knock and overheat now if you don't have the dimension close enough then you're going to be down on power so that's why it's so important to set the x dimension on these ktms um, that's why even even the aftermarket kits are going to come with a bunch of different gaskets so yeah hope that helps somebody out i'll see you in the next one